Bolhoff has developed a battery-powered tool using electro-hydraulic innovative technology. With an equal performance to Bolhoff's current best-selling tool, the P2007, the B2007 is more flexible due to its energy independence. The lithium-ion battery technology enables additionally long-lasting service life with one battery charge. The B2007 features a battery capacity of up to 500 to 800 riveting cycles, precise riveting force adjustment, electro-hydraulic technology, practical and easy handling, and size capability of M3 to M10. Both the B2007 and the P2007 feature a setting force of 3 to 20 kN and a max stroke of 7 mm. The B2007 is powered by a lithium-ion battery, while the P2007 is powered by 85 to 90 psi of pneumatic pressure. Both tools include the ability to fasten both rib nuts and rib studs. Here are the locations of the most common parts of the B2007 tool. The quick change mandrel, the anvil, the nose, the oil fill plug, the trigger, the display screen, and the battery. The B2007 screen displays important information about the tool. Here you see the battery level, the screwing state or auto start, and the setting force. There are also three buttons used to both navigate the tools menus and to adjust the tools settings. One is for languages. Option 1 allows you to select a language for the tool's display screen. 2 is for partial counter. Option 2 allows for resetting the partial cycle counter, which is reset by pushing both left and right buttons simultaneously. 3 is for switch off time. Option 3 sets a time for the tool to shut off after being used for the specified amount of time. 4 is for start condition. Option 4 selects the status of the tool between finishing screwing or without a condition. 5 is for force setting lock. Option 5 allows for pushing both plus and minus buttons simultaneously, which activates a lock, disabling the ability to modify the load setting. This is reversible by repeating the simultaneous button presses. 6 is for service. Option 6 activates the service submenu. Exit returns to the production main page. By selecting option 6 of the main menu, the screen will display service submenu options. One is for identification. Option 1 displays the serial number, firmware version, and total number of cycles. Two is for buttons. Option 2 checks the functionality of the three display buttons and the trigger. To exit this screen, all three display buttons must be pushed at the same time. Three is for sensors. Option 3 displays the status of the rest and pressure sensors. 4 is for the push-pull view. Option 4 gives access to the sensor status, which is calibrated at the factory. 5 is for temperature view. Option 5 displays the internal temperature sensors on the motors and drive board. 6 is for the battery. Option 6 displays the type and charge status of the battery. This tool stops functioning if the battery temperature reaches 75 degrees Celsius. 7 is for next service. Option 7 displays the remaining cycles before the tool should be scheduled for its next service. 8 is for force setting verification. Option 8 allows adjustment of the best conditions for measuring the real setting force applied to the mandrel. 9 is for restoring default settings. Option 9 requires the user to press both plus and minus buttons simultaneously to restore the tool to factory default settings. Exit returns to the option main page. Now we will learn how to set up the tool. Step 1. With the battery disconnected from the tool, remove the nose piece using the supplied B2007 wrench. After the nose is removed, you will see the drive shaft, drive chuck, and lock nut. Step 2. Install the mandrel into the drive chuck. The mandrel should be snug against the fork but loose enough to slide out. Adjust the lock nut behind the drive chuck as necessary to set the mandrel. When you have the drive chuck in the correct position, tighten the lock nut using the B2007 wrench. This does not require a lot of force. Do not over-tighten the lock nut, as doing so could cause damage to the threads on the drive shaft. Step 3. Replace the nose piece on the tool. Use the B2007 wrench to tighten accordingly. Step 4. Screw the anvil onto the nose piece. 
screw the fastener you'll be using in your application onto the mandrel. Adjust the anvil until the mandrel is at the last thread of the fastener. If you're using a blind fastener, you will adjust the anvil until it bottoms out on the fastener, then back the fastener off one complete turn. Once the anvil is set correctly, tighten down the anvil lock nut. Step 5. Now you can connect the battery to the tool. Pull the trigger to turn on the tool. You will now see the display screen light up. Step 6. Take one of your fasteners and place it on the tool using the auto start feature as shown. After you have your fastener feed onto the tool, pull the trigger and hold it down for an entire cycle. If the part does not upset, remove the fastener and increase the force setting on the display screen as shown. You will need to do this a few times, increasing the setting force by 1.5 to 2 kN each time until the fastener upsets completely. Now, you need to test the fastener in your application material. In many cases, the setting force will need to be increased when installing in material versus in the air. Once you verify that the fastener has installed completely, your tool is ready for use. The B2007 uses VeloSite Oil No. 6 Spindle Oil ISO VG10. This is not the same oil used in other Boloff pneumatic tools. Remove the oil fill plug at the top of the tool using the supplied Allen wrench. Then screw on the oil fill tool. Now. Turn the tool upside down and pull the trigger. Hold the trigger down to allow the tool to completely cycle. After three to four cycles, you will have all oil removed from the tool. Remove the oil fill tool and turn the B2007 right side up. Discard the old oil from the tool and replace it with fresh oil. Now screw the oil fill tool back into the oil fill hole at the top of the B2007. Compress the tool until the B2007 is completely full. Remove the oil fill tool and replace the oil fill plug. Boloff offers both a standard 2.6 amp-hour battery, part number 282-590-30350, and an extended 4.0 amp-hour battery, part number 282-590-30351. We also offer a multi-charger, part number 282-590-30355. Any repairs of maintenance above and beyond what is provided in this video is not recommended by Boloff USA.